Hi, uh, I'm John, and this is Neil, and also as well, this is Tim. Um, we're here in Woolacombe, we decided to come down for a week and have a bit of surfing holiday, so um, we decided to come down to the beach, um, and as you can see, the swell is pretty poor. Um, unusual, because yesterday I was pumping. Um, so, we got bored, 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 we got bored. <laughs> So we got bored. Uh, Tim went on a bit of a recce this morning. Um, <laughs> yeah, excellent. And um, he decided to buy the last four spades in Wollacom. No plastic here. This is proper steel shovel. We set upon ourselves a challenge of building a sandcastle. Not, Not just, just any. any. No, 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 absolutely. Not just any sandcastle, but the biggest damn sandcastle we could possibly build. And <laughs> this is it. This is the mammoth. We, we, we aim to kind of take the dimensions of making it as hydrologically um, effective as possible in dispersing the waves. It's just a combination of uh, boats and historical sea defences. Um, John, talk us through some features. Of course, Tim. Thank you. Right, so at the start here, we've got two very inconspicuous looking mounds. Um, and what looks like a bit of a channel in the middle. Essentially the idea is, these two mounds are going to be the first wave of defence um, against the oncoming tide. And the water's going to go either side, hopefully, this gap here, this hole we've been dug, um, will take away some of the impact of that. Because after that, check these bad boys out, these are going to be the mummers in stopping the oncoming tide. So These are acting like speed bumps. Absolutely, absolutely, like you've got your car when you go over in Tesco's. We then have the five outlook towers, the five mounds that are going to be protecting the, the, the big bank basically. So as soon as the wave comes up, it rattles up again and then what we'll find is probably the water will go a little bit behind them but because of the teardrop shape, it should literally seep out quite and recede quite well. So it will you know, resist the most amount of erosion which you can get. Just behind this, we've we now broken the kind of brunt of the wave at this point. So we feel that you know we needed something heavy, something something big to take the main force for us. We've got a massive, massive bulkhead here. We're talking, we're talking thick bulkhead. It will take anything. This. So we've built an immense one of these, and it has runs all the way along each side. And this is going to take the brunt of all any any anything that the waves could throw at us. As basically. you can see, it's not your standard wall, it's not a standard flat wall, it's designed as a, a big angle. So it will essentially, you know, diverse the waves along the sides. As hydrologically um, effective as possible in dispersing the waves but I mean if you compare like you know to the rest of the beach um, I think it's a pretty poor turnout for sandcastles today um, and uh, I think uh, sandcastles definitely are losing out and I would just like to thank Gurkho Fun makers of probably the finest sandcastle spades I've ever used in my entire life Gurkho yeah can you dig it Gurkho when just any shot Gurkho is great because they come in an assortment of different colours. Gurkho, yeah. It's built so well. No plastic here. This is proper steel shovel. Gurkho spades, massive shovelage, no bendage. Nothing worse than bendage with your shovel. Proper man shovel. Build it bigger, build it better, build it with Gurkho. Gurkho, chicks dig it. Gurkho, it says it's fun, but it's serious. Gurkho, it digs big holes. I do two man's work with Gurkho. Yeah! Gurkho, it digs faster, it digs harder, and it digs more. Building harder than your mum. It's a beautiful shovel. Gurkho, your hands are gonna break before the spade does. You break, your Gurkho spade's still ready for more. 
three men died building this sandcastle. Every Gurkha shovel survived. Gurkha, it's German, we don't know what it means. The Witsi will eventually get through that, and when it does, we get back to plan A, which is over here. Here we have a good big hole in the ground. Basically, the sea hits that, it fills the hole, it absorbs most of the energy of the wave. After that, it hits the second bulkhead, which is the main central structure of Castle Om. This is where we started off, essentially. Quite cunningly designed in a big spearhead fashion. Any wave that hits it gets split in two, and all the energy is diverted up these two channels either side. However, no castle would be complete without the castle itself. And here it is, up on the top of the central mound, we got yeah traditional four turret design wall in between little gateway and because it is so damn huge the throne we will be sitting on this as the sea comes in trying to take us out we reckon another 20 minutes half an hour and that sea is going to be in here and we just can't wait because we've been building for about seven hours now. we started at 11 o'clock this morning and at the moment it is half past six it's immense let's make it happen Okay, my, my shorts are actually getting wet now, yeah, boys. Yeah, right. I think get it's out. time to get out. Bandit ship! Bandit ship! Thank <laughs> you. 